Hello everyone, let me share one with you today. Very delicious ways to make eggs. First prepare an appropriate amount of eggs and put them into a large bowl. Then add a pinch of salt. Table salt has the effect of sterilization and disinfection. Then pour water to cover the eggs. Soak the eggs in salt water for 5 minutes. This makes it easier to clean. After 5 minutes, wash the eggs again. Cleaning is more convenient with a paper towel. After cleaning, set aside for later use. Then pour cold water into the pot. Then put the eggs in cold water into the pot. Then add a pinch of salt. When boiling eggs like this, eggs are not easy to break. Then close the lid. After the fire comes to a boil, turn to medium heat and simmer for 8 minutes. It has been cooking for 8 minutes now. Then drain it and take it out. Soak in cold water for 10 minutes. This makes it easier to peel. Peel the eggs again after 10 minutes. Take a look. The eggs cooked in this way are very easy to peel. The peeled eggs are also very complete, more beautiful. After everything is peeled, put it into a plate and set aside. Then turn on the heat and heat the pot. Once the pan is hot, add a little more cooking oil. Heat the oil until it is 50% hot. Then pour the eggs in and fry them. Fry slowly over medium low heat. Then stir it with a spoon. Prevent eggs from sticking to pan. Fry the eggs until golden and bubbly on the surface. Fry slowly over medium to low heat throughout the process. Just like this, it will be golden and bubbling. Then fish it out. Take it out and put it into a casserole. Eggs are very fragrant when fried like this. Then add dry chili, cinnamon, bay leaves, star anise. Leave a little more oil in the pan. After the oil is hot, add rock sugar. Fry slowly over medium heat. Fry until rock sugar melts. Fry until the rock sugar turns amber and big bubbles form. Just like this. Then pour boiling water. Then pour the sugar water into the casserole. Then add ginger slices. An onion knot. Add another spoonful of light soy sauce. Half a spoonful of dark soy sauce. A spoonful of cooking wine. Add another tablespoon of salt. Then close the lid. After the fire comes to a boil, turn to medium low heat and simmer for 30 minutes. It has been cooking for 30 minutes now. Open to take a look. Wow! It smells so good. Then take out the spices inside first. Wow! It looks really appetizing. The house is already filled with fragrance. After picking out all the spices, add a small bowl of water starch. Then turn on high heat and collect the soup. The soup becomes thick, just like this. Then take it out and put it on a plate. This is how fragrant tiger eggs are ready. Then add the soup in the pot too. Finally, sprinkle some chopped green onion. Delicious and ready to serve. Eggs made this way are rich in nutrients, full of fragrance. The taste is very salty and appetizing. The soup is completely soaked into the eggs. It's juicy when you take a bite. It's really delicious. The egg yolk here is also very delicious. If you also like, hurry and collect it and give it a try. Hello everyone. Today I spent 50 yuan to buy 2 kilograms of pork belly. Let me share with you a piece of braised pork. Very delicious and easy to make. When we buy meat, we have to buy this pork belly more delicious first cut the pork belly into small pieces with a knife convenient for next steps just like this set aside for later use then turn on the heat and heat the pot heat the pot until it smokes then put the pork belly and pork skin side down rub it back and forth like this roast the pig skin this can remove the odor on the surface of pig hair and pig skin Roast until the pork skin is blistered, just like this. Then put it in cold water. Then use a knife to scrape off the dirt on the surface. Scrape it back and forth like this. Just scrape it a few times and it will be clean. After processing, place it on kitchen paper. Then use paper to wipe away the moisture on the surface. After the water is wiped dry, the oil will not collapse when frying. 
After drying everything, then cut it into large pieces with a knife. When making braised pork, the pieces must be cut into larger pieces. It tastes better this way. After everything is cut, put it into a large bowl and set aside. Now prepare a small piece of ginger. Cut into slices of ginger. After cutting, place in a bowl and set aside. Then add two bay leaves, a piece of cinnamon. Don't add too much cinnamon, otherwise it tastes bitter. Two star anise and a piece of angelica dehurica. Remove fishy smell and increase aroma. After the spices are ready, set aside for later use. Then turn on the heat and heat the pot. Once the pan is hot, add a little cooking oil. Then add appropriate amount of sugar. Then turn on medium heat. Fry the sugar until it melts. Stir while frying. Let the sugar heat evenly. After the sugar melts, turn down the heat and continue stirring. When making braised pork, the sugar color should be fried a little tender. Just fry it like this. Then pour the pork belly in. Use a shovel to quickly turn. Let the pork belly be coated in sugar color. At this time, you must turn on a low fire. Otherwise, the color of the candy will become bitter easily. After coating with sugar color, pour in the spices again. Then continue to stir fry. Fry out the aroma of spices, then fry the pork belly to release the fat. Fry and stir. Prevent pork belly from sticking to pan. It's almost done when it's fried like this. Sugar color at this time has been completely wrapped on the surface of the pork belly. The color of the braised pork made in this way is very beautiful. Then pour a spoonful of cooking wine along the edge of the pot. Add another tablespoon of teriyaki soy sauce. Then turn off the heat and stir fry evenly. After frying evenly, pour everything into the rice cooker. Then add 500 milliliters of beer. Beer can remove fishy smell and increase flavor. And the braised meat is more tender. Add another tablespoon of salt. Add another onion knot. Then push it down with a spoon. Then put it in the rice cooker. Close the lid. Turn on the cooking function. Simmer for about 40 minutes. The time has come by this time. Let's open it and see. Wow! It smells so good. This color is also very beautiful. Then pinch out the onion knots and remove them. Then open the lid and cook for a while. Collect the soup. The soup is almost gone. Like this. It's ready to go. Then pour it into the plate. The fragrant braised pork is ready. The braised pork made this way is very soft and delicious. Stew meat with beer instead of water. Not only the meat is more fragrant, easier to get soft. You don't have to worry about the meat smelling like alcohol. Because of the long stewing time, the alcohol has evaporated. The rest is the smell of meat. The braised pork made this way will melt in your mouth. Fat and not greasy. The taste is very tender has a strong meaty flavor. Stew in rice cooker. Don't worry that the soup will dry out. You don't have to worry about getting the bottom of the pot sticky. The braised pork produced in this way has a bright red color. It looks very appetizing. If you also like, hurry and collect it and give it a try. Follow me if you like my videos. Thank you for your support. Hello everyone. I bought a pound of pork belly today for 30 yuan. Let's use it to make a small puff pastry. It's best to choose pork belly without skin. Pork with pork skin will be tough when fried. Unappetizing. Many friends are struggling. When frying crispy pork, should I use starch or flour? What kind of powder do you use? Today I will teach you the most correct way to do it. Cut the pork belly into thick slices about 1 cm first. Then cut the knife into strips about 1 cm long. After cutting, Place into a larger bowl, then add 2 tablespoons of table salt, 2 tablespoons of pepper, 2 tablespoons pepper powder, a spoonful of cooking wine to remove the fishy smell, then use your hands to mix thoroughly, you can catch it a little longer, gives the pork a good flavor, grasp evenly and set aside for later use, prepare another bowl, add 3 tablespoons of sweet potato starch, 
That is sweet potato powder. The fried meat fried with this kind of starch will be crispier. Then add 2 tablespoons of warm water. Then mix it with your hands. Break up the particles inside. This sweet potato flour needs to be mixed a little thicker. Just make it sticky like this. Then take out the marinated pork belly. Beat in 2 eggs. Then mix the eggs and meat evenly with your hands. 2 eggs are enough. If you add too much, it won't taste crispy. Then pour in the prepared sweet potato starch. Then continue to mix evenly with your hands. At this time, I feel that the paste is a bit thin. Then add a little sweet potato starch. This paste must be thicker. Only in this way can it be hung on the pork belly. Continue to mix evenly. In the end, it will be viscous like this. All the meat is covered in paste. Heat the pot. Put more oil. Heat the oil until it is 50% hot. Put down the chopsticks. If bubbles form quickly, it means the oil temperature is enough. Then turn to low heat. Add the wrapped pork belly one by one. This way it won't stick together when it's fried. After all the meat is in the pot, fry until set. At this time, we will turn on the medium fire again. This process takes about 2 minutes. Use chopsticks to flip it while frying. Let the meat strips heat evenly. Fry until the pork belly turns golden brown. Like this. It's ready to go. Look at the golden color. Like this. It's ready to go. Then control the oil. Take it out and set aside. Then increase the oil temperature. Rise to 70% heat. Then pour the fried crispy meat into the pot and fry again. It will taste crisper this way. Fry and flip with chopsticks. Let every piece of crispy meat be heated evenly. After frying, take it out to control the oil and set aside. The fried crispy meat can also be eaten directly. You can also put a handful when cooking. You can also make crispy pork noodles. All very delicious. Crispy pork fried this way. Crispy on the outside and tender on the inside. It's really delicious. When your children want to eat crispy pork, they don't have to go out and buy it. Make it yourself at home. Clean, hygienic and delicious. Let's try it and see. Very delicious. Listen to its crispy sound. The method is also very simple. If you like it, try it too. I will update different food videos every day. Follow me if you like my videos. Thank you for your support. Hello everyone. Today I will share with you a garlic moss. Very delicious recipe. First clean the garlic moss. Then cut into long pieces. When we choose garlic moss, we should choose this dark green one. Slightly thicker. This kind of garlic sprouts tastes tender. After everything is cut, put it into a larger bowl. Then add a spoonful of salt. Then pour appropriate amount of water. Just enough water to cover the garlic moss. Then stir it with your hands. Stir evenly. Let the salt dissolve. Then set aside and soak for 5 minutes. Next we prepare some mushrooms. Cut off the pedicle and don't want it. Then cut into thick slices. After cutting, place in a bowl and set aside. Prepare another handful of green onions. Chopped green onion. Prepare 3 grams of millet pepper slices. Prepare 3 cloves of garlic and slice them first. Then mince the garlic. After cutting, put them all into a bowl and set aside. Next, boil a pot of water. Add the mushrooms. Blanch for 3 minutes. Remove oxalic acid. After 3 minutes, take it out again. Control dry moisture. Place in a bowl and set aside. At this time, our garlic moss has also been soaked. Then dry it out. Then pour it into the steamer. Then use chopsticks to spread evenly. Put the lid back on. After the water boils, steam over high heat for 2 minutes. Now our garlic sprouts are steamed. Wow! The color of the steamed garlic is very beautiful. Emerald green. Then take it out. Load into disc for later use. Prepare another small bowl. Beat in 3 eggs. Then use chopsticks to stir evenly. Beat the eggs. Fire next. Heat the pot. Pour in a little cooking oil. Once the oil is hot, pour in the egg liquid. Then turn to medium to low heat. Before the egg liquid solidifies, stir gently with chopsticks. The eggs fried in this way are more tender and smooth. Then fry the eggs into large pieces. After frying, take it out and put it into a bowl for later use. 
Then add the onions, garlic, and millet pepper into the pot and stir fry. Stir fry until fragrant. After sauteing, add two tablespoons of light soy sauce. Add another spoonful of oyster sauce. Then stir fry evenly. After stir frying evenly, add the garlic. Add the scrambled eggs and mushrooms too. Then stir fry again. After frying evenly, add a pinch of salt, a small spoonful of chicken essence. Then stir fry again. After frying evenly, you can take it out of the pan. Wow, it smells so good. The color is also very beautiful, emerald green, very crisp and refreshing. It tastes very delicious. Eggs and mushrooms are also very delicious. The taste is a little spicy. Friends who don't like chili peppers can also accept it. Very appetizing and delicious. Friends who like to eat garlic moss can try this. Although there is no meat, it tastes better than meat. If you also like, hurry and collect it and give it a try. I will update different food videos every day. Follow me if you like my videos. Thank you for your support. Hello everyone. Today we use potatoes to make delicious food. First prepare two peeled potatoes. Cut it into thin slices. It's easier to get used to it. After cutting, put it on the plate. Then put it in a pot and steam over high heat for 15 minutes until cooked. Prepare another egg. Break into bowl. Add another 20 milliliters of milk. Then use chopsticks to break up the eggs. After mixing well, add 50 grams of flour. Stir into a fine and smooth batter, just like this. Set aside for later use. By this time our potatoes have also been steamed. Take it out and pour it into a larger bowl. Add a pinch of salt. Then use a fork to mash the potatoes, just like this without potato particles. Then add two tablespoons of flour. Continue to stir evenly. Stir until you can hold it together and form a ball. Then tidy it up with your hands. Take out another ball. First roll it into small balls. Then gently pat it flat with your hands. Just like this. Prepare an appropriate amount of grated cheese. Take some out. Shape into balls with hands. This makes it easier to pack it in. Then wrap the cheese in it. Then roll it into balls. Just like this. Then put it into the batter and roll it around. Then take it out and put it into the breadcrumbs. Then use your clean hand to wrap it in breadcrumbs. Just like this. Everything is ready and put on the plate for later use. Put more oil in the pot. Heat the oil until it is 40% hot. Insert the potato balls one by one. Fry slowly over low heat. Fry until the surface becomes hard. Just like this. Fragrant crispy potato balls are ready. The surface of the potato balls made this way is very crispy. It's soft and chewy inside. Also accompanied by the mellow aroma of cheese. One bite and it's still silky. It's really delicious. If you have ketchup at home, it will be even more delicious with tomato sauce. Although it is fried, but it doesn't absorb any oil inside. The method is also very simple. If you like it, try it too. Follow me if you like my videos. Thank you for your support. Hello everyone. Today we use eggs to make delicious food. Delicious and tasty. The method is simple. First prepare some side dishes. Prepare half a red pepper. Cut in half first. Then cut into strips first. Then cut into small pieces. After cutting, place in a bowl and set aside. Prepare half a green pepper and remove the seeds. Then cut into strips first. Then cut into small pieces. After cutting, place in a bowl and set aside. Prepare another ham sausage. Cut in half first. Cut into four pieces. Then cut into small pieces. After cutting, place in a bowl and set aside. Prepare some more slices of ginger. Cut into minced ginger. Ginger can effectively remove the fishy smell of eggs. After cutting, place in a bowl and set aside. Then prepare a few green onions. Chopped green onion. After cutting, place in a bowl and set aside. Prepare another plate. Add two tablespoons of braised soy sauce. Two tablespoons of peanut oil. A spoonful of soybean paste. A handful of green onions. Then stir evenly. Set aside for later use. Then prepare the right amount of eggs. Break it into a small bowl first. Because if there is a bad guy, you can pick it out immediately. Then pour the eggs into the plate. Then stir it gently with chopsticks. 
pour in cold water. After the water boils, steam over medium heat for 10 minutes, then start another pot. Once the oil is hot, add the chopped green onions and all the garnishes. Stir fry for 1 minute. Stir fry until fragrant. Then add a spoonful of light soy sauce, a spoonful of oyster sauce. Stir fry evenly. Then add a bowl of water starch. Boil over high heat until the soup becomes thick, just like this. Then turn off the heat. Set aside for later use. Our eggs have also been steamed. Take it out. Then pour the sauce over the eggs. Wow! It smells so good. The fragrant sauce-flavored poached eggs are ready. Then make a few cuts with a knife. Convenient to eat. Look at the eggs made like this. Very fresh and tender cubom. Add green and red pepper. Nutritious and delicious. It tastes very fresh and juicy, coupled with the strong sauce flavor. Very appetizing to go with the meal. If you like it, try it too. Follow me if you like my videos. Thank you for your support. Hello everyone. I bought a bag of oysters today for 15 yuan. Share a lazy person's practice. First add a spoonful of starch, a spoonful of cooking oil, then grab it with your hands for 1 to 2 minutes. This can effectively remove impurities in oysters. Then pour in water, wash several times, clean, then control the moisture, set aside for later use. Next, prepare some side dishes, millet pepper cut into millet pepper rings. After cutting, place in a bowl and set aside. Prepare 4 more cloves of garlic, minced garlic, cut it and put it in a bowl. Then pour in boiling hot oil and saute until fragrant. Add 2 more spoons of light soy sauce, a spoonful of oyster sauce. Stir evenly, set aside for later use. Prepare another half onion, slice onions. After cutting, place in a bowl and set aside. Prepare some coriander and green onions chopped green onion after cutting place in a bowl and set aside prepare pork belly for five yuan cut into thin slices after cutting place in a bowl and set aside heat oil and casserole then add the pork belly and stir fry fry out the fat fry until slightly brown just like this then add the onions too stir fry until fragrant after sauteing until fragrant add the washed enoki mushrooms then add the washed oysters, then add the sauce as well, put the lid back on, simmer over medium low heat for 5 minutes, wow, it smells so good, very delicious, sprinkle some chopped green onion at the end, oysters do this, authentic, fresh, sweet and delicious, when the weather is cold, let's have a pot like this, heartwarming and stomach warming, the most important thing is that the method is very simple, the whole family likes it. The enoki mushrooms here are also very fresh, sweet and delicious. If you like, collect it quickly. Let's make a pot of it when we get home. The soup is also very delicious. Follow me if you like my videos. Thank you for your support. Hello everyone. Let me share one with you today. Fried chicken is very crispy and easy to make. First prepare two chicken breasts, about 300 grams. First cut into thick strips about 1 cm, just like this, then cut it into small pieces with a knife. After cutting, place into a larger bowl and set aside. Prepare 3 more cloves of garlic, cut into thin slices first, then change the knife and cut into minced garlic, cut it and add it to the chicken, then add 2 tablespoons of light soy sauce, 2 tablespoons balsamic vinegar, 1 tablespoon chili powder, a spoonful of pepper, half a spoonful of salt, six spoons of milk. Then use your hands to mix thoroughly. Mix well and marinate in the refrigerator for 20 minutes. Prepare another bowl. Add 140g flour, 70g cornstarch, a pinch of salt, a spoonful of chili powder. Then stir evenly. Let all the seasonings blend. Set aside for later use. Prepare another small bowl. Break in an egg. Stir it up with chopsticks. After mixing well, pour the egg liquid into the chicken. Then use chopsticks to stir evenly. Coat each piece of chicken with egg wash. Then pick them out piece by piece. Put in flour. Then coat the chicken pieces evenly with flour. Just like this. All done. Load into disc for later use. 
After everything is wrapped, clip out another piece, then dip it in water, dip it in flour again, coat it with another layer of flour. After processing this, the fried chicken pieces are even crispier. After everything is done, load into disc for later use, then start the pot. Heat the oil until it is 50% hot. After the oil is hot, add the chicken pieces one by one, fry slowly over medium-low heat, then flip it with chopsticks and fry it. Prevent the bottom of the pot from being stuck. Fry for about 3 minutes. Fry until golden and crispy on the surface. Then control the oil and fish it out. You can also eat it directly at this time. To make the taste better, more crispy, let's blow it up again. Then increase the oil temperature. Add the fried chicken pieces. Fry on high heat for about a minute. Fry until golden brown. Crispy surface. Just like this. Then control the oil and fish it out. Crispy on the outside and tender on the inside fried chicken nuggets are ready. The surface of the fried chicken is very crispy. Crispy on the outside, tender on the inside and very tasty. It's also very delicious when eaten directly like this. You can also eat it with tomato sauce, more delicious. When your kids want fried chicken, you don't have to go out and buy it. Make it yourself at home, clean and hygienic. If you also like, hurry and collect it and give it a try. Hello everyone, today I used a pound of prawns and a piece of old tofu. Come and make something delicious. First put the prawns into a large bowl, then add water, then rub it gently with your hands. Clean the prawns. After cleaning, drain the water, control dry moisture, then let's deal with the prawns first. Cut off the shrimp heads with kitchen scissors, then cut the shrimp shells. By the way, open the back of the prawns. It also makes it easier to peel the shells, then peel off the shell, then take out the shrimp threads. Just like this. After everything is processed, put it on the plate, then add appropriate amount of salt. Add some pepper, then use chopsticks to mix thoroughly. Mix well and marinate for 10 minutes. Let's prepare a piece of old tofu. Cut into thick slices first, then cut it in the middle and cut it into strips. Finally cut it into small cubes. After cutting, put it on a plate and set aside. Prepare another handful of washed leeks. Cut into long pieces. After cutting, put it on a plate and set aside. Prepare another red pepper. Remove the pedicle, then cut it in half. Remove seeds again, then cut it into long strips. Then cut the red pepper into dices. After cutting, put it on a plate and set aside. Prepare two more green onions, chopped green onion. After cutting, place in a bowl and set aside. Prepare a piece of ginger, slice first. Shred again, finally cut into minced ginger. Cut it and put it together with the green onions. Then turn on the heat and boil a pot of water. After the water boils, add the chopped tofu and cook it. Add a pinch of salt. Stir evenly. Cook for about 2 minutes. Get rid of the beanie smell. After cooking, the taste will be stronger. Then fish it out. Control dry moisture. Place in a bowl and set aside. Let's make another sauce. Add 2 spoons of light soy sauce to the bowl. A spoonful of dark soy sauce for coloring. A small spoonful of table salt, just the right amount of pepper, a small spoonful of starch, add half a bowl of water, then use chopsticks to stir evenly, set aside for later use, prepare another small bowl, beat in two eggs, then use chopsticks to break up the eggs, after stirring evenly, then slowly pour the egg liquid into the tofu, then shake evenly, coat each piece of tofu with egg wash, then put a little oil in the pan. Don't use too much oil. Once the oil is hot, add the eggs and tofu. Don't turn back and forth first. Shake the pot gently. Let the tofu heat evenly. Fry until the bottom is golden brown. Turn it over again. Then flip it gently with a spatula. Fry until golden brown on both sides. It's almost like this. Golden yellow. Then scoop it out. Load into disc for later use. Then use the oil for frying the tofu. Stir fry the onion and ginger until fragrant. After sautéing until fragrant, add the tofu in. Stir fry evenly. Then pour in the prepared sauce. Add the marinated prawns as well. Add the diced red pepper too. Then tidy it up a little. 
Close the lid. Cook over medium-low heat for about 4 minutes. Make tofu and prawns delicious. Now the time has come. Let's open it and see. Wow! It smells so good. Finally, sprinkle with chopped chives. Then stir evenly. It's ready to be cooked. A fragrant prawn stew with tofu is ready. How to make prawns and tofu. All very tasty. Rich aroma. Then put it on the plate. The shrimp meat tastes fresh and chewy. It is as delicious as tofu and goes well with rice. Added a handful of leeks. It tastes like a strong chive flavor. Added red pepper. Not spicy. Children also like to eat it very much. And the combination of these ingredients. It's also very nutritious. If you also like, hurry and collect it and give it a try. Follow me if you like my videos. Thank you for your support.